Hi, I'm Pranay Sharma and in this series of videos, we'll be learning how to write equation in Microsoft Word. Now we can write almost any and all equations for mathematics, statistics, actual finance, physics, chemistry and more. And the best part is that this can be done in Word, PowerPoint, Excel, although I don't see much use of it in Excel. Now let's get started. Now I'm using Microsoft Word 2013, but the equation was introduced in Microsoft Office 2007 and is present almost in the same way in all later versions. So you will not find any problem in using it in any of these versions. Now with the help of such examples, we will be learning how to write different styles of equations. The first thing we'll do is we'll go to insert and insert you will find this pi sign that is equations. Now if we press this, we will see a few pre-made equations here. If you do not want that, we can directly write our insert new equation or you can check out all the different types of equation. Okay. So we will go to our insert new equation. Uh, you will find such a box and as soon as you see this box, you will find that our equation tools is present here on our um, strip. Okay, And you would see two sections. One is where you would see a lot of symbols. The second is where we'll see a lot of scripts. So we'll see the symbols, symbols like plus minus, infinity, equal to, not equal to, similarity, times, divided by, factorial and so on. You mostly will use this, you know, similarity or, uh, you know, congruent signs if you want this sign or if you want, let's say, degree Fahrenheit or degree Celsius or you need some arrow signs, epsilon sign, you have alpha, beta, gamma and all. Now, although in the next video, we'll see how we can use shortcuts and we'll never have to use this space or you would say these symbols directly. Okay. But this come very handy while we are writing our equations. Now, if you want more symbols, you can go here and when you click to this arrow, you will find Greek letters, all your alpha betas. Then we have our letter like symbols. We have operators. So these are a lot of operators. Then arrows, different kinds of arrows. Negated relationships, not equal to and so on. Scripts. And lastly, geometry. So these are the different symbols that you can directly use from top here. Now, whenever I click something, let's say I want degree Fahrenheit, you can see here I get my degree Fahrenheit. If I want this uh, delta sign, I will just click that. If I want this, if I want this, whatever sign you want, you can just click. Okay. Then we have these scripts here. Now, we use this fraction a lot. Whenever you want to make a fraction, you will use this. If I want to write 5 if i want to write 5 by 2 i will use this fraction then select this upper box and i'll say 5 and then arrow key down and then by 2 if i want multiplied by and let's say 2 by 5 i want another fraction i'll go here and i'll write 2 by 5 this should be equal to 1 this would be my equation okay 5 in 5 by 2 into 2 by 5 will be equal to 1 then again if i want to insert another uh, equation i'll go to insert and press this equation button as here i just press that pi button and you can see that i got my equation now this equation box let's say if i want to write our quadratic equation if i have a, I want x square. For x square, you will see the script. I will write square and I will click this box x square and then 
plus bx plus c is equals to 0. So, this is our quadratic equation. Now using this, if I want to write the roots, so I will again go to insert and press this pi or I will show you another way. Okay. If you press alter and equal to sign, that is the shortcut to create this equation box. Okay. Now, if I want to write my x is equal to, I need a fraction. So, I will go to this fraction, I will create this and click the upper box and here I will say it would be minus b plus minus for plus minus you can either insert it from here or if you just write plus and then minus it will automatically take it as our plus minus sign. Then I want root for root we have this radical sign you can see here radical if you want root 2 you would be using uh, you know second root you would be using this if you want cube root you can put this or you can put this and put whatever number you want here in your root. I just want second root so root of I will say b square. So now as you can see first I created my fraction script then I am taking my radical script. Now I want here b square minus 4ac. So inside this I can put another script. So you can see that we can create as many scripts in such a way putting one inside the other okay here i would have b square minus 4 ac upon for again you will have to use a lot of arrow keys to navigate and then upon 2a so this becomes my root this becomes my answer now similarly if you want to write integrals you would be using these signs you have normal integrals if you have limits you have this as well as this you can use any one of them you can have your double integral you can have if you want to write double integral and if you want uh, limits in both you will press integral and then inside this box press another integral and you have this let's say i have x is equals to 1 2 5 and whereas my y goes so y is equals to um, I will have 1 to infinity so for this upper box I will use infinity from here okay, infinity and in this box I will write my function f of x comma y and then I will have my dy dx so this becomes my integral formula then if you want summation you will have this large operators you can see summation without any limits you have here with limits in different forms okay, you can use any one of them pi is used for product you can use them and if you scroll down you have many different kinds of symbols that you might use to uh, you know show some kind of mathematic operation in a series if you want brackets these are the brackets okay you can directly put your square brackets uh, and round brackets and curly brackets from you know our keyboard that would work too but you can use these as well you have special type of brackets as well this this where you know they are not completely square brackets okay other than that you have single brackets too sometimes we require single brackets like if i want to write I want to write my f of x is equal to I have two different forms so for that I will use the single brackets uh, this and here if I want to have two different segments for different values of x I have different functions so for that what I can do is I can use matrix inside this I can use this matrix or maybe this matrix to now write let's say here I have let's say x square so I will again put a script and I'll say x square when x is less than 0 and I would say 
again I'll put a script let's put a radical value root x if my x is greater than 0 okay so I'm writing my function of x is different when x is less than 0 if it is different for x is greater than 0 okay. so this way I can write any number of functions uh, different different values depending on uh, if you want three you will use three by three matrix and so on now similarly if you actually want to write a matrix if you actually want to write a matrix first i should create a bracket okay so bracket and then i'll go to let's say three by three matrix this is my three by three matrix now you see that the brackets did not cover the whole matrix so for that what i can do is after writing the bracket i will cl click space and it will complete the whole matrix okay it will cover the whole matrix so space is going to be used a lot as well so so that uh, the equation editor knows that we have completed writing our equation now convert it into the best form that we can okay so here let's say i have one two three four five six seven eight nine so we can write our matrix in such way you can make as many types of matrix as you want now if you feel like that you want something like uh, let's say 5 by 5 matrix but clearly here we do not have 5 by 5 so what i will do is and first i'll put my open bracket and now for let's say 5 by 5 i can start with this 3 and then inside here i can create another okay so here let's say i want two more so i'll click this now i have four i should need i needed actually five okay so i'll have or it would be uh, yep yeah. and i can create this this is five or let's say I had this and here I'll put another 3 and now I have 5 here I want 5 by 5 it would have been easier if I have started with let's say 3 by 3 matrix then here I would put another 3 here I would put another 3 and here I would put another three now i have five then here i would put this so similarly i have now five by five matrix then i'll come out and now you can see the cursor here i'll close my bracket and if i press space you can see now my brackets are big enough to cover the whole 5 by 5 matrix so this way you can create any kind of matrix you want any number of rows any number of columns okay then sometimes we need accents you can have single dot double dot you can have hat you can have reverse hat you can have similarity sign you can have bar we write x bar a lot you can have different types of accents here okay okay we have a few examples here as well very commonly used we can have our log functions you can actually if you want log you can just type it but if you want log to the base something it would be easier to use from that particular term so if if i just write log and i press space you will see that it, it recognizes that i'm writing log and it gives me a different kind of symbol okay with that box and then i can write log 2 is equal to whatever now if i want to show that this log 2 is to the base 10 so what i'll say is equal to now for that i would use this one log to the base and here i'll say log to the base 10 2 okay so whenever you need to write log to the base it's easier to 
write it from this function we have trigonometric we have limits okay you can see limits here okay you have lim we have max min if you want trigonometric function we have all of these trigonometric function inverse function we have a uh, hypersine function uh, hyper trigonometric we have inverse hyper trigonometric so especially if i want inverse function i would prefer using these rather than typing it although we can type as well okay so if i want let's say to write let's say sine square uh, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 so for that i'll use sine square so first i want script i'll say script then i will add and i'll put another script then i'll say equal to 1 here i would say sine then square and for theta you can see here we have theta here sine square theta cos square theta again from here cos square theta will be equal to 1 now in the next video i will be using a lot of similar kind of uh, equations but i will show you how do we use our shortcuts directly using keyboard we do not have to use mouse at all okay so i will show all different kinds of shortcuts that we will be using so let's end this video here and meet in the next one.